Hello, this is Bernard, and on today's episode, I'm going to be answering the question, does he love you, and how much does that really matter? So stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious, heart-centered, ambitious, and open-minded women how you can create the relationship you want and attract the kind of love into your life that you've been seeking for years without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy techniques. Now, a question that comes up again and again from many of the women who reach out to me for advice and help is, does the man I'm with love me? Is the guy I'm interested in acting in a loving way? And how much does that matter? And can it work regardless of the level of love? So I'm going to give you some answers right now. Now, love is a big word. It's a it's the, probably one of the biggest words of all. So rather than giving you some abstract knowledge on this, I'm going to give you some specific ways of looking at life and his behavior to better dissect for yourself if the guy that you're with or you're interested in is acting in a loving way. The first one is, does he have curiosity and hunger to get to know you? What does that mean? Is he asking you the right questions? Is he interested in more of your model of the world? Is he someone who is making assumptions about who you are or caring enough to listen to what you say and what you don't say, that the small things and the big things, the nuance of the conversations, that is one of the first principles that can help you to feel someone's love, his curiosity and his hunger to get to know more of who you are and where you're going in this lifetime. Second uh, is, is he respectful of your time and your ideas. So what does that mean? Respectful of your time means if he wants to see you and plans on seeing you, does he arrive on time? If he needs to cancel, does he give you enough time in advance or does he cancel last minute, usually? Is he someone who cares about what you have to do and how? That's the first piece of the puzzle, right? Is he respectful of your time? Ideas. Respectful of your ideas doesn't mean he agrees with your ideas. It means that he has the willingness and the openness to at least consider them and not ridicule them, not making you wrong for them, simply if he must disagree, disagree respectfully, but appreciate that his way is not the right way, you might have the right way, he just may or may not agree with what you're sharing. Obviously, the more things, the more ideas that you guys have in a similar vein, the easier the relationship will go. Third, is he proactively working and moving towards more? Is he proactively working towards an evolution of where you are and where you're headed? What does that mean? Uh, is he someone who wants to see more of you progressively? Is he someone who wants m more wisdom uh, in terms of what your life is? If he does he want to introduce you more and more into his life? Does he want to grow in his capacity to make you part of his world, his friends, his family? And right now, coronavirus makes it hard, but even virtually, is he getting that curiosity and hunger to get you introduce you to his world and his the people he loves uh, is there a progression towards more the progression towards more signals that the guy is acting in a way that is loving towards you so long as he's respectful because that that's how evolution goes there's more in evolution uh, next point is he courageous enough to share his point of view and his values, regardless of whether you may or may disagree with them. Why is that loving? Because not sharing his point of view towards things that may be areas of disagreement means that you could be misled, not by his willingness to mislead you, but by his, willing, his unwillingness to share with you in a way that may make this situation hard for you later on, especially if some of your ideas are contrary to his, and those are big things for you, like showstoppers. Now, those are four clear signals. I mean, another one would be, well, I mean, uh, some specific ones that are more maybe nuanced is the, how does he look at you? Does he light up when he sees you? Is he excited to connect with you? Does he treat you with enthusiasm and happiness versus like, oh, he takes you for granted? I mean, those things will show you in principle that he cares enough about you. Does he open up uh, fun conversations and serious conversations? That's part of the, the vision that allows you to feel this. Now, why am I talking to you about this? And why did I share at the beginning uh, how much does that really matter? I'm sharing this because 
A guy can act, in theory, in very powerful, positive ways in these four points, five, six points. But, and here's the kicker, love is not enough. Underline this, write it down on a piece of paper, put it on a poster board in your room, uh, create a 3D light and put it in your ceiling. Love isn't enough. What does that mean? Love isn't enough means that there's two components, minimum, that have to be present for this to work, regardless of how loving he is. And those are a shared vision of life and shared values. So shared vision means that the place where he's going to in this lifetime matches, in principle, at least in broad broad scopes, where you're going. Why? Because if he wants to move outside of the country and you don't, he could be the most loving guy in the world, but that's going to be a big impasse later on. If he wants children and you don't, or you want children and he doesn't, that's going to be a big impasse for you. Uh, What is his vision of family? What is his vision of, and those have to do with values and vision of life. So those are two together, right? The vision of the life that he wants, the values that he shares or doesn't share with you. What is his value for uh, respect, for example? How does that get acted on in life. What is his principle for infidelity? Is infidelity for him uh, having sex with somebody else or does flirting with women who are not you include infidelity? So those are definitions that need to be cleared out because the devil's in the details. And your ability to be with someone surpasses his capacity to love you. So in the best of scenarios where a guy acts in loving ways, the things that must be present, shared values and a shared vision, are things that a lot of people take for granted. A lot of women, specifically, that I've connected with, take for granted because the passion, the excitement, the projection, the chemistry is so strong that they get blindsided and don't ask the right questions or ask the right questions but don't really listen with their whole being. The guy might answer in a way where their entire body is sharing with you, I'm not interested in this, but the words say yes and you take the words for granted. So my recommendation for you right now is that you listen to this video, you watch these steps again, and that you also ask the question, the shared vision and shared values, because if not, you are in for a world of potential trouble. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. At the the description of this video, if you wanna take this further and learn how to enter the relationship you want, in a lot less time and with a lot less challenge and difficulty and pain than you have in the past, I've created a free class for you. All you have to do is enter your name and email on that link and you'll be redirected immediately to start watching that class. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new videos. Last but not least, if you're someone who's been watching videos, mine and somebody else's, if you're someone who has struggled with love and intimacy and relationships and you know that videos ain't cutting it, you need more, you need hand-holding, you need accountability, you need support, then the second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me so I can hold you by the hand and take you through the process of what it really takes to attract your ideal life partner. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.